Okay, so now we're going to start doing some math. So I want you to make a solution of a given molarity. So remember, molarity, what color do we want today? I think I want purple for now. So molarity, big M, is moles per liter. We spent a lot of time last unit doing these gram to mole conversions. So uh, this is a similar idea, which is why I wanted you to get used to using that unit conversion uh, technique I taught you guys. So for a 0 0.1 molar solution of NaCl, you can use you can use it either way. You can use doo -doo, 0 0.1 mole per liter or 1 liter over 0 0.1 moles. Remember, this is saying the same thing. It's conversion factor. Right, so if I am trying to figure out how many moles to put in a given volume, I would use this one, given liters. If I want to figure out how big my solution has to be, I use this one, given moles. So let's do a practice problem. How many moles of NaCl are in 2.2 liters of a 0 0.15 molar NaCl solution. So we can rewrite that big M as moles per liter. So I know I have 2.2 liters of solution. All right, I start there. I know that for every, I'm going to rewrite this over here. I know I have 0 0.15 moles per one liter. So if I just close, if I think to myself, all right, in one liter I have 0.15 moles. Well, I have more than one liter. I have 2.2 liters, right? So I know I have to have more than 0.15 moles. That's the logic. Now, just to do the math, if you think it through, well, I have my conversion factor. I know I have liters on the in my unit, 2.2 liters. So the one I want to cross out goes on the bottom. So liters goes on the bottom, and my 0 0.15 moles goes on top. So in 2.2 liters of 0.15 molar NaCl solution, I have 2.2 times 0 0.15 moles, which comes out to be 0 0.33 moles. Now, to make it tricky, so I have moles through 0 0.33 moles of NaCl. Well, how many moles of ions is that? Well, what I'm going to do is 0 0.33 moles NaCl. Well, I know for every mole of NaCl, when they dissolve in water, it splits up. Remember, this splits up into Na plus plus Cl minus when it dissolves in water. That's ionic compounds. So I know for every one mole of NaCl, I have two moles of ions. So this would just be 0 0.66 moles of ions. Right. This is what you definitely need to be able to do. This is like a nice to do. It may come up just briefly on a quiz. But this is the bigger idea up here. Okay, let's go the other way, or all the way through. How many grams of KBr are in a 5.72 liter, are in 5.72 liters of a 0 0.065? Again, cross this out and we'll do moles per liter. Uh, KBr solution. Well, I know I have a volume. All right, so I have 5.72 liters. And I know for every liter, rewrite it over here, 0 0.065 moles per one liter. So I know for every liter, I have 0 0.065 moles. Well, I have 5.72 liters. So one liter, 0 0.065 moles. Now, if I do that math out, I get 5.72 times 0 0.065 I'm doing this on my calculator as I'm doing this, and I get 0 0.372 moles. So that's how many moles of KBr are in that solution. Well, now that I have moles, it doesn't want moles, it wants grams. So something many of you guys did well in the last quiz was you were able to go from grams to moles very easily. So I need another conversion factor. I know that one mole of KBr from the periodic table, I add up the molar masses, is 119 grams. All right, so I have less than one mole. I have 0.372 moles. 
So I know that has to be less than 119. So logically, I need a number like that. Uh, doing the unit cancellation method like that, I get 0.372 times 119, and I get 44 grams of KBR. Now, remember when I told you I wanted you to do it this way because we're going to have multiple conversions? You can do this all in one step. I'm going to use a different color, nice light blue. So 5.72 liters. So I know one liter has 0 0.065 moles. And I know that one mole has 119 grams. So see, I don't have to do this like two-step process. I can do it all at once for liters cross out, moles cross out, and I just do 5.72 times 0 0.065 times 119 divided by 1, and I still get my 44 grams of KBR. All right, one more practice. A solution is made by dissolving 13 grams of that sugar in enough water to make 450 milliliters of solution. What is the molarity? Okay, so what is the moles per liter? And I have 13 grams, so let's circle the important information, of sugar and 450 milliliters. So I can already put in that I have 0 0.45 liters. Now, I know that there's a thousand, you can always ask me on a quiz, there's a thousand milliliters in a liter, so 450 milliliters times 1,000 milliliters per one liter, and I get that 0 0.45 liters. All right, so now I have my liters, I need to know how many moles I have. Well, I have 13 grams of this sugar. Well, I need to know what the molar mass is. Turns out this molar mass this is just one that I know off the top of my head because we use it so much. It's 180 grams per mole. Now, I have 13 grams. I know that one mole is 180 grams. So I know whatever answer I get has to be way less than one. Or I can also, that's logically, doing it the math way, I have grams... I'm given 13 grams, so I get rid of what I'm given. So I put grams on the bottom, and I want moles on the top. So I get 13 moles divided by 180, and I get 0 0.072 moles of sugar. Okay, that makes sense to me. So now I plug this in here, 0 0.072 moles divided by 0.45 liters, and I get a molarity of 0 0.16 moles per liter. That is the level of math that I, need, that I need you guys to be able to do to make solutions. Now, making solutions is a hugely important task in any sort of chemistry that you do in, in life. Like biochemistry, you'll be making lots of solutions. Uh, lots of chemical react. Most chemical reactions happen uh, when things are either in solution or they're a gas, just because the particles can move more freely. Um, so being able to make solutions of a given molarity is an important skill and one that you can um, leverage to get jobs in college. If you find a professor who is doing a lot of chemistry, you can say, oh, I really know how to make solutions well. Uh, they might hire you for, to do research or at least for credit. So something I would recommend if you pursue a career in science and really know how to make solutions. All right, wrap up. How can you make a solution with a specific molarity? So uh, you must use the molar mass. So you need to use the molar mass to convert mol between moles and mass. Solutions of specific concentrations can be made by you weigh out the appropriate amount of substance dissolved. And if you know the molarity and volume, you can figure out the mass of the dissolved substance in that sample. So this is just going back and forth between them. If I ask you to make a solution of a given molarity, you'd have to figure out how many moles to put in, what mass to put in. If I say I have a solution of a given molarity, how many moles is it? Well, then that's much easier. You just figure out what the volume of that sample is. Um, you can go in between all of these things.